will help us monitor our forests and all that. But we have a system that says that even state governments cannot oh, buy drones God. unless they, are, they have clearance from the office of the NSA. NSA. What Why? kind of arrangement Why? is that? Why? People should be able to fly their drones, monitor their forests, and keep their people secure. Some of these uh, 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 provisions in our law, they have to be dispensed because it's not helping anybody. It's not helping anybody. All right, moving on. Now, the political atmosphere in River State is getting calm, but trouble might be lurking somewhere. As such, Governor Simulai Fubara has urged the new Chief of Staff, Etin Eyi, and other appointed officials against using their position to antagonize anyone in their areas. Governor Fubara urged them to set aside partisanship and continue to the, contribute to the growth of the states. The all six appointed officials were active supporters of Governor Fubara. In the wake of the political crisis that rocked the states, gentlemen, again, Governor Fubara is becoming his own man and is getting his own guys, you know, so for you to, from the acting speaker, from that speaker, former speaker now, to his chief of staff now, and all the people he appointed now, that his own men, to be able to fortify his political watch his back and everything. It's like building his own structure. Well, um, becoming his, his own man uh, is what you said, um, that is yet to be seen. Let's wait and see. That is for me. Um, then secondly, I, I was telling some people a few weeks back that um, in as much as um, Governor Fubuara is acting like somebody who is not politically savvy in some of the actions he has taken and some of the things, uh, statement and the rest of them. But he may also be a, a political uh, strategy on his part. First and foremost, um, I had the feeling, I have the personal opinion that Governor Fubuara was radically playing to see if he can secure his, uh, um, this thing at the Supreme Court. That is very strategic because no matter how he played his politics, if at the end of it all, for whatever reason, you miss out. he missed out <laughs> at the Supreme Court, that is the end of his uh, tenure. So he must have been strategic enough to be able to play along. That's my personal opinion. Mm. Until secure that. Waiting for, waiting for that. that, that, that when you've cemented that, then he can start taking this action. Because you can see that there must have been some kind of convergence and some kind of agreement between him and the SY speaker of the four legislators that, for him to resign. He did not only resign at the so-called speaker, he also resigned his membership as of the State House of Assembly. So he was kept in waiting. And it's also known that the former chief of staff to the governor was handpicked by Nyenso uh, Wike. So he is trying to take a bet. There was also a statement he made um, during the swearing-in of the former commissioners that were now being reappointed and said, don't give me trouble in my government. He mm -hmm. stated it. Doing their so, so what he's trying to do now is trying to solidify himself. I've said it time and time again that what this is not the end of the matter in River State. Mm. What we have seen is, is you're a student of literature uh, of which GD is. <laughs> this is what we call at one scene two, at one scene three, or at four, one scene four. That may still be at two scene one as a bet for now. Everybody seems to be keeping his keg of power like, uh, uh, dry. Just for now. Serious. Yes, and just serious watch him. Bet. He is still sitting on top of a, a, gun, a, a, a gun power, uh, as it powered as it is, because the legislative arm are fully in the hands of his godfather. And with that, whoever is in charge of that legislative arm can put the string at any given point in time. But I hope this is not just the, uh, the silence of the graveyard, as it seems. Um, some people have gone, don't forget that now we have to court judgment or pronouncement. There was one that did not recognize the, uh, the new the legislature, then there was, there was another one that also recognized, the one by the six elders. Now, with a judgment by, by a, a high court judge in Abuja, instituted by six elders, elders in River State, that court judge, um, in Georgia still recognizes those four legislators. I think that should be a hand on, should be able to come together. And just move reverse. It might but just this be a more academic exercise. Yes. So you recognize four people. So, so, so the arrowhead of that one. Yeah. As so, <laughs> no, yes. resigned and even resigned. That is judiciary membership. for you. That is judiciary for you. I'm telling you that there is two um, pronouncements by two different high court judges of the same jurisdiction. Mm. 
And it's very troublesome. And nothing has been done. And the, last and the NJC is Federal also High watching. Court Abuja, the, yes, and that's recognizing the, the same guys. High court, Federal High Court. And the NJC is watching and not saying anything. Okay. Julie? It's going to be a very long drawn battle because when you just see it, 2027, if that is the terminal date of this crisis, it's going to be a long time. And I'm afraid for governance in River State because um, Yutan Wiki was able to achieve what he achieved because he was able to you know, execute his project and everything. He didn't have so much of um, crisis and people troubling him. Maybe he had to deal with you know, some along the line. But this one is a see it will stifle governance. Mm. It all depends on the way the governor plays his game. Um, the way it is now, he does not have control of the House of Assembly. He has to play along until um, he gets stronger. It will take some time for him to consolidate and take control. It all depends on the way he plays his game. There are some mistakes that he made. You know, when we talk about these things, some people, because of their emotions, mm. they are unable to see beyond, mm. objectively look at, beyond their nose, because they're already um, biased. In this matter of River State, the biggest issue, the biggest issue is the future of the local government chairman. That is what caused the conflict in the first place. They do not want the governor to handpick local government chairman because once he handpicks local government chairman, effectively he has, he has uh, supplanted the structures that even put him in office. And that's why we kept saying, the ladder that you used to climb up, mm. don't remove it. Mm. Those local government chairmen were the campaign coordinators for the governor in their respective local governments. That was the structure. That was the strategy that is used. You have to be strat more strategic than tactical in handling matters like this. Otherwise, you get your fingers burnt. The truth of the situation is, it is not wicked alone. When you take these kind of steps, like setting the assembly ablaze and doing all those things, it is not wicked alone that you are in battle with. There is the hand of the federal in it. Whether, if not, Tinobu will not go to the extent of getting involved and even being involved in drafting a resolution. Making the government to sign. Of course, he was part of the meeting. Why won't he sign? Once you come before a president, you should have ignored, you should have, you know, some people, when they don't want to see your boss join those days, they will stay away, some governors, or send their deputies. But you, you showed up. So whatever decision is rich, you have to abide by it. And one of the resolutions was that you must not touch the, um, the local government chairman, because they knew all along that his first goal was to replace those people. Down. Once you replace them, you put your own people in charge. Oh, yes. But their own argument was, these are the people who work for you. It's too early to send them back in. Yeah. And if you must replace them, then let an election take place. Not to handpick the way all these governors are doing. Because it's wrong in the first place to even handpick local government. What the law says is that you should conduct elections. Once they come to the end of their term, let an election take place. If you let an election take place, that means you are abiding by the law. No one will say you have contravened the law. So I believe that all of those other conditions, the governor systematically will abide because at this stage, he has no choice. He has not got the control of the house. And I don't think that realistically speaking, if the case goes right up to the, even the APS court, I'm not convinced that the APS court will rule that four or three persons, because mm. there are three now, they are not even up to four. 27. I don't think, you all know the, we all know the way, the, um, the way our courts work. It's not, it's not based on the law alone. And some of these decisions can be contradictory. When I saw the Supreme Court abusing 
literally abusing the appeal court. I, look, I said, some of those things for which you are accusing them, you've, you've also done that. You've given similar judgments in the past. If you are saying, oh, now nah, this, if you are not a member of a party, you cannot challenge. What happened in, uh, with uh, Jagede? Jagede was not a part uh, from APC now, but that matter got out to the Supreme Court, mm -hmm. and the Supreme Court ruled four to three. You understand? So the point that I'm making is no one is sure that, a, that the final court will say, oh, the three persons go and run the house. Mm. Sometimes they will look at, can this thing work, mm. and then decide. Mm. You look at the matter of Kano, for example. If you are to go strictly by the law, unstand ballots cannot stand in an election. But they must have reason that this is the man who won the election. Yes. Whatever. And and politically, if, you want to throw this place. And you, want, you look at even some of the other uh, elections, mm. House of Assembly, House of Rep, Senate, they dominated. So if you have to go, I mean, side the people by looking in the direction of that man, that is the person who won the election. This is the way our court reason sometimes, not purely based on what the law says. If it was purely based on what the law says, Amechi would not have been governor. Because he didn't even ask the court to make him governor. He said, mm -hmm. declare that I am the candidate of the party. At that time. All right. We'll take this breather. We'll be right back after this time out. Don't go away. Every second, every minute, every hour, and every day, time doesn't just tick away. It's a countdown to political decisions that shape our world. This country must move in. Imagine the impact these decisions have on our lives. Some are consequential, others may leave us intrigued or baffled. You will have no better friend and partner than a year. Step in and feel the frenzy like never before. Join me every weekday for an hour of fact-finding interviews for questions caught to the core. What does Sinubu has that other 17 candidates do not have? I will dig in to get to the heart of issues from local politics to global insight. Join me as I unearth the power plays, jaw-dropping revelations and the unfiltered truth. This isn't just politics, it's unraveling the stories that matter. Brace yourself for politics tonight, every weekday at 8 p.m., where every decision echoes along the corridors of our lives. Politics tonight, only on CBC News. Thank you for staying with us. Again. Yes, um, that crisis, we just hope that if it's well managed, everybody will be able to go home and smiling. But I don't think the relationship between the governor and uh, go, uh, former governor Wiki can be the way it used to be. I, I, if I have my way, I want that case to get to the Supreme Court. Ask me why. We have to decide once and for all on issue on defection of members of the state houses of assembly and National Assembly. I believe and thought that that issue had been resolved by the electoral act and as well as the constitution. And that is the feeling by so many people. That once you defect, there will be judgment to that effect. That once you defect from one political party, the party that brought that at the, at the legislative arm, that you automatically do. So it will be good. What's that? What are that caveat that says if there's crisis? Are you? And that is <laughs> to be, and, and it is also it's subject to interpretation. Yeah. It's subject to it's also subject to interpretation. Their, yes. They bond their as of assembly. Yes. Uh, they, their, li their lives were. Uh, they went, went as far as talking about no. even their national secretary. That, that is what I'm saying. It is also <laughs> good for the Supreme Court. To that one, that. The court you know. So those are, those are the issues fundamental because if we don't try to straighten our democracy through the law court and get it, uh, because say something about Kanu State. At a point, everybody thought that Kanu was gone. Mm. At the tribunal, and at the court of appeal. In fact, the APC had gone to repaint their state secretary at Kanu. Mm. Everybody was away. In fact, 
I don't know who, if, if they were supposed to be some, uh, 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 maybe pastors or whatever, I think that is the easiest prediction that anybody would have got. Just like we had the, the man from... Uh, I, I that, knew they would not give. You know, that's the, the, it's not that... I kept telling uh, uh, because it's not that prophet in Cameroon that was prophesizing that they were going to beat us three. Yeah. That would have went viral. So, but what I'm saying in essence, it is good for us to be able to... Because if we don't test this, it will still continue. Tomorrow we still... Those guys see, my, this my, my friend... You know? Politicians will not stop defecting. Not Especially on the, the eve of interest, the election. Every year, as we are approaching an election year, see the number of people who defect. Some will defect because they deny them tickets. Yes. All kinds of reasons. We can't even keep tabs with the people who are defecting to ensure that the law punishes them Honestly. effectively. It's always a deluge yes. of politicians defecting every year. We've what not been able law, to. What did the law say? That is me. I say. I say the, I law, say the, the law. The law. The law. You say. Okay. Even that law. Is that what we say? Even that law. I'm not. I'm not happy with that law because the law appears to only because target that's lawmakers. That's, that's, yeah, that's what I'm saying. The lawmakers. Why? Because of what happened during the wet year. You know, the defection on the floor of the National Assembly at that time was what precipitated crisis. People moving to rival Parties. party. Zig's party and Awo's party, fierce uh, rivalry between them. When you cross from this to this, it led to bad blood. So why should we limit it to the, exec the, I mean, to the, the All right. not executive? Why not the executive, for example? Totally agree so, okay. And what I'm even saying is that no one is sure that even when it gets to the Supreme Court, they will look strictly at the law in determining these things. Go back and look at the judgment, even of the appeal court and the Supreme Court in um, the Ocean governorship. Adeleke. If anybody told you that those matters will be resolved in that manner, that the court will say, oh, that uh, um, you cannot use only the back end uh, server uh, uh, to determine mm. uh, over voting yes. that you must use the Voters manual register. manual register. Mm. Honestly, if somebody told me I would have sworn that it would never happen. Mm. Because why did we we are using uh, technology? You had the what was it called? Um, the electronic uh, uh, accreditation module that we acquired. Everybody believe that it helped to make our elections credible. Because it's electronic in nature, you can determine how many people did accreditation. But the courts then ruled that it was not enough to use it, that you, you should use manual, manual, manual that register. <laughs> that has been discussed. And they, because, look, there were like four issues. Each of those four issues was enough to send uh, Adele K. Parking. Mm. All right. Okay, moving on now. As the Naira continue its free fall in the foreign exchange markets, the CBN, the Central Bank of Nigeria, is striving to halt the slide.